We're in Mosaic Canyon hiking today in Death Valley National Park, and we are having a ton of fun scrambling upon the rocks hey, and enjoying the Slot Canyon-ish nature of the hike. You can see the sections that we come through down here, and this is our adventure for the day. So it's neat to see in the canyon, we're in Mosaic Canyon here, and it's neat to see the difference between the rocks that are being broken off and the rocks over here that have been polished by the rocks going down the stream. So if I come over here close, you can see, even on a section with lots of voids in the rock here, you can see the, the polishing that has happened over time as water has run down the canyon, which is pretty neat. Yet just right over here on the other side, we have rock that has primarily been broken off and not polished right and uh and so just right here and it trades sides in the stream as you go up and as the curves happen in different ways then it uh it trades sides which side's polished and which side isn't which is really kind of interesting probably has a lot to do not only with the shape of the stream but just the quality of the rock and whether it breaks off easy or not or has time to get polished but really need to see in just a beautiful spot here as the, the canyon varies up and down its its length. And the kids are having no end of fun climbing all over the place. Rachel's taking off her pants. Rachel's doing the pants conversion, which is awesome since she's got hiking pants and she can decide if she wants shorts or pants. How do you guys like move. your hiking pants so far? I, I love them. I've been scaling the loft for the last 20 minutes. He is going to hike twice the distance today. <laughs> <laughs> But as long as they're having fun, they don't seem to mind a mile, so. Hey! Hey, I wanna, I wanna go on a thing or something with, with, the, with, with, the, with the rest of the family, Daddy. Okay. Kiddos, there's a spot right here you can scramble up or it's, you can climb up over there, either one. Okay, I'll come up here. It's the easy part. Why not up here? We found a spot for lunch up here. Okay, okay, we're up there. Mommy's just around the corner up there. Mommy. We've located our lunch spot. Mommy, and so we're uh, headed up a little side canyon to find a perch and enjoy our lunch before we continue on with our hike. Kara has a beautiful braid today. It's a mommy braid, not a daddy braid today. And her little backpack is adorable. Yeah, she's pretty darn cute. She loves hiking it. And she brings a few things and really gives her a sense of accomplishment, I think, which is pretty neat, so. We are going to, I can help you, kiddo. We're gonna climb up there, and the mommy and the Andrew have found a spot for lunch. You go ahead, Rich. All right. And I'm getting hungry. Two, four, six, eight, ten. What are you skipping by, Kara? Two, good job. Two, <laughs> good ten. job, kiddo. We've got a pretty spot 20, for lunch here. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. I have the fruit. I am the fruit. So there's lots of places in Mosaic Canyon where there's really pretty rocks against the wall and everything else. They look like a mosaic, but this is the coolest piece we've seen so far. And just tons of of the rock embedded into the mosaic right there. And it's just really pretty neat. It, uh, it's pretty beautiful. I've, we've got a spot of sunshine here too that's lighting it up and, and that's really pretty. So we've got to the point of the canyon where you have to do a little bit of rock scrambling. We kind of came out and around and, and everything, but there's some really neat sections right up here. It looked like it was coming to a dead end and I'm glad we didn't give up because there's some really pretty sections here oh, with the scoured rock. Problem is everybody that climbed here, so it's like, Smooth? No, it's not because of the climbing. Well, I bet you it's really part of it. Maybe a little. Just a really pretty rock mosaic stuff. Yes, and uh, lots of scrambling up here. Kiddos are doing awesome. We uh, finally reached the point we couldn't go with our, our kids' little legs anymore. I started to get a little too entertaining to traverse each obstacle. So we turned back around and we're headed down the canyon now. But uh, just beautiful. I love hiking the slot canyons that sometimes are narrow and sometimes are open up into wider canyons. 
and uh, the rocks here are really pretty. Just the uh, just the variety and uh, geologic activity has been really cool. So here we go, hiking back down the road. The road. Go hiking back down the the wash. This is one of the first interesting places that you come to in the canyon right here. If I can get a view over the top and see what it's like. I'm just bobbing and weaving through the rocks. It's a cool place to be. This little spot you got to traverse down here to get down there, but it's a uh, it's pretty neat. Just a just a cool canyon. This is one of the first spots where we're like, this is going to be a really really neat hike. You know, just really fun to see and and fun to do. You can just slide down your bum there, Rach. Hey. It's smooth, so it doesn't really hurt your pants very much. There you go. It's really smooth. Here's the Mama Llama taking pictures. She is using a lens baby and learning how to use it with the the focus and the, the tilt shift ability there, which is kind of cool. That was a that was a piece of uh, Christmas. It's kind of fun. There you go. She's the focus is fun because you can do some really cool effects, but it's all just this very man, literally manual like hand controlled stuff. So she's having lots of fun there. It's been a cool. It's been a cool hike. So we're leaving the smaller part of the canyon now as we get towards the front. But here's another cool section of mosaic that we saw on the way down. We didn't see on the way up. It's really really cool how it. So you've got some some sections here with smaller aggregates, right? And then you've got this layer of big chunkies, and then it gets different right up into the smaller aggregates up above. But right in this spot. Just some really cool mosaic stuff. It's really pretty neat. So, the gravel just scouring it on the way down the hill. It's really pretty cool. And then down here you see out into Death Valley. Care Bears are already on the way to the truck there. Down across the Death Valley. It's been high clouds and overcast today. We got a little bit of sun, but uh, uh, it's been pretty. The temperature hasn't been too hot. It's been nice and warm though. We're all in shirts and t-shirts. We're rather enjoying that. It's probably going to be a little cooler over in the Houston Sierras where we're headed tomorrow. But uh, for today, we'll take it. Man, this is the time of year to come to Death Valley. I mean, sometimes in the, in the summer, they've got temperatures in the high 120s, and sometimes it doesn't get below 100 degrees at night, which is amazing. Having it be over 100 all night long would about kill me. So... I don't know what their visitation is like during the summer, but it's got to be a whole lot less than during the winter. So, and there's the mouth of the canyon there, and our car, the little truck, truck down there. That uh, we're gonna go climb back in, and I think we're gonna go try to find the ghost town that uh, is here in Death Valley before we call it a day. So we drove nine miles out. A uh, dirt road to see Skidoo and we're not in downtown Skidoo at the moment we stopped real quick to see this really mine entrance we suspect that it's been tumbled in and filled in there it's soft in the bottom so it probably went down from here who knows how deep it went because I don't see a large uh, pile of tailings but um, they uh, Skidoo was uh, with the sort of official name was 23 Skidoo except the post office didn't like 23 as part of the name so they named it Skidoo and uh this is one of the more profitable mining camps, towns in California, pulling uh, $1.6 million of gold. That was back when gold was $20 an ounce. And so, um, so there's quite a lot of money that I actually pulled out of here. But uh, from here, you can see just right over the, the, the rise up there is where downtown was. And um, lots of space there. And there was uh, 700 residents here. And you can see just evidence kind of here and there everywhere of, of mines in the hills and things. And so it's kind of really kind of interesting to see, but uh, we're gonna explore around just a little bit and, and then we'll uh, make the drive back in. We, uh, to get out here, we had to turn on going to get gas because we weren't gonna have enough gas to uh, to make it all the way out here and back. So we uh, had to take a quick detour to go buy some gas and then and then uh, drove back out. So a little more exploring, we'll see what we find out here. So the area is covered with mines and we found one that they've closed up, they've put a a grate over it so that you can stand on it and if you look down I don't know how much you can see here but 
If you look down, the mine goes way the head down there. And uh, I am assuming they had some sort of way to haul ore and stuff back out, but it's uh, it's pretty cool looking. And then just looking over this direction too, it looks like there's uh, some collapse sections of the mine that uh, kind of give you an idea about where they were digging and, and where they were going. So pretty neat to see actually. There's some uh, some more tailings right up here on the hill that I'm I'm curious about checking out too. It's uh it's amazing to see holes just dug out of the rock like this. Just people people seeking the people seeking gold. They can just pick up and find money in the ground. Had a lot of appeal to it, I guess. So that's kind of interesting. Piles of cans down here that uh, that they. Left from uh, left from those mining days, just scraps of metal all over. All the wood stuff is gone, and uh, everything else. But really, very interesting to see. And I want to climb up to this pile of tailings up here to uh, see what I can see. So we climbed up to a group of tailings up here, and uh, this big pile of tailings, and we scrambled up here to take a look. And there's a, a mine shaft. Seems a little descriptive for a hole in the ground, but and um, and they've got bars over the front of it to prevent you from getting in it. And I'm sure, kiddos, that all this stuff caved in from the sides. Probably caved in from the top, which means the tunnel came out further, maybe to about here, so that they could move stuff out, and then it just collapsed. So now you have to kind of go in there to look at it, but. At the time, it was kind of a level mine that came all the way out here, I imagine. They probably used mine carts and rails or something. And they would push the carts of the rock and then just dump them over the edge here. So all of this rock here came out of that hole. And this was back in the early 1900s. And they were... So this is special 1916, rock? I think. And they... Uh, well, no, but there was there's seams of gold sometimes in there. So they'd look for the seams of gold and there would be gold sort of in clumps or in, in, in clusters along cracks in the rock. And so, and then all this is all that they dug out of the mountain, which means that that mine is really pretty deep. In case you're tempted to drive out this skidoo, I wanted to show you what the road is like. It's a whole lot of windy, bumpy, fun, uh, gravel road. I, I'm doing it, uh, I probably didn't need four-wheel drive, but I've got it on because it seemed to help a little bit with sliding around a little bit less, but um, it's uh, it's it's beautiful though, and one of the side effects is that you end up with some pretty spectacular views along the way as you wind to the town. The town is where it was because that's where the gold was there. They didn't really have any other reason to do it, so the gold dried up and the town went away, but it was there for about 10 years. But uh, it is quite an adventure getting here on the road. So in case you're, you know, curious about what it's like to, to get here, it, uh, it does require a little bit of uh, adventure to, uh, to make it all the way uh, to where we are. So, here, Rachel, are you going to record? Not that I can still. Well, that's part of it. 